Okay, I just finished the crimp on an order and this one is turning out really good so far. I hope I just didn't jinx it, but I got some cool heat coloring on the frame before I made the crimp and just beautiful alignment right off the bat. I, like I've adjusted it, I've adjusted it, but um, it's it took almost nothing to adjust it and it's got a good plane. And without even bending the trigger, just check this out, just listen to this. And now, I don't know if you can really hear that, but with these harps, um, to get that kind of sound out of it without with that much weight on the trigger already and, and how without even trimming it, that's pretty impressive. So let's just let's just do this live. What do you say? Let's, we're not live, but let's record this. That's too far out, isn't it? Okay, here's, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, cut the tail at my signature angle. Now, goes flying. I like to cover my hand. Should wear safety glasses, I am not, but I am very cognizant of where my eyes are looking. So now it's time to bend the trigger. And another signature thing that I've been doing is I like to put my crimp on what's considered the backside um, because I like to play in this direction and it just feels to me like the crimp is more solid uh, when you're when you're striking it this way rather than putting pressure against the metal that I bent in to make the crimp. So that's my philosophy, I stick to it. And I, what I do, you can see this, is I use this piece of wood. This is my, I don't know, I've just been using this wood. I used to, this is what I used to use to cut my own reeds with a diamond wheel on my Dremel. Things got a little hot as you can see. And I had to give myself a little reminder. I've uh, been listening to a lot of Beastie Boys lately. And uh, that reminds me to make sure that I go like such so that I bend the trigger this way because too many times I've been bending it this way and having to bend it back. And it's worked out luckily, but I don't want to keep doing that. So, here we go. Get my propane torch ready. My hand pliers. Don't need to go out of control with the heat here. It doesn't take much to heat it up. Just get the tip right on there. Wait till she's golden. And what I mean by golden, I mean red. Quick bend. Make sure it's nice and straight. Not bad. I'll try to straighten just a little bit. And I'm just, what I tend to do is I just go for a quick <coughs> teardrop loop trigger just to see where it is. And nine times out of 10, I end up opening it up and trimming it. So this is gonna be a bit of a longer trigger compared to my last heart. Um, I was thinking, I think this is gonna be the high pitched harp, I believe. He had ordered two. And this one is using the original laundry hamper narrower reed. And his other one was gonna use the newer one, which is what my last harp that I just finished is also using. So let's just give this a whirl. What do you say? Let's see how it sounds. It's still hot. Still pretty warm, but the reed does cool down pretty quick. So just check the alignment a bit. 
pretty straight. I think I'm going to have to make a little bit of adjustments here, but still warm. So this will drop in, or probably raise in tone a little bit, but ooh, that's really warm. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this trigger smaller. That is just what happened on the last one. Let's and it just as soon as I did that, it sang. So back to the drawing board. Here's what I'm gonna do for this. Now I'm going to take my side cutters and I'm going to try and cut it at a nice straight angle. I don't want to take too much off, but I want to take enough off where I feel like when this is just gut feeling, the balance of the reed is going to be such that it's going to sing. Cover your eyes again. As you can see. Huh. Sorry. God damn it. As, as you can see there, here, it is now straight again. Let's, let's fix that. I've been finding the shorter triggers just tend to work better on my harps. I'm not sure why. I kind of like them myself. I find it easier for fast play. This one might be a little too short. We'll see. Oh, well, maybe not. Get a nice tiny little teardrop loop on it. Looks nice. Yep, let's try that. Again, it's going to be nice and warm. Let's check the uh, alignment out a bit. Starving. May need to just adjust the arms a bit. That's more of a volume thing, but let's uh, let's just see if. Well, I'm going to have to try and see what I can do with this one. We'll see. Okay, we're back here. I'm pretty confident I just need to align these arms a little bit more. Uh, I think the plane was out and it just wasn't vibrating properly. So I've tweaked the arms. Got one side good. Just working on the second one. Just maybe a little bit more. And we'll give her another shot in a sec. I haven't tested it since so we'll see pretty soon I'm gonna actually make myself some good proper jaw heart making tools where I'm gonna uh, soften the metal so I can file it and get a good square shape into it so I don't put so many tooling marks into it so anyway I think I got it let's see how this sounds now <laughs> Not really, not really ringing out too well. I wonder if the crimp needs a bit of a tightening. Definitely clanking too. All right, back to the drawing board. Okay, it was what I thought. I needed to give the crimp a little bit of a tap. So I did that, it's ringing out a lot better. And now I'm just, I had to adjust the arms a bit more. So we are hopefully in the final stages of making these tweaks. 
and you will have a playing harp in no time, hopefully. It's already ringing out pretty. That yeah, that one's one. That side's good there, I think. Just a little clanky. Just got it. Just a little bit more on this side. We're getting there. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of finalizing the uh, trigger here and uh, just taking off any roughness. And sometimes I use the grinding wheel, other times I just use my file here and a bit of sanding. Uh, but the idea is to get it smooth and nothing catching when you're playing. But it also serves to remove a bit of weight and you can hone yourself in on a note. And I don't know if this is note, this one's close to anything, I haven't tuned it. My last one here, I was able to tune to G. And I really like that one. That was mine. This one's the customers. Let's see where we're at. Just a little shy of F, so let's do it. Let's see what this takes. So I'm just going to file a little bit of material off the end just to lighten the end of it so when it vibrates it's not as heavy and it makes for a higher tone now I've found it doesn't take a whole lot to change things you know what let's do it I'm going to use the grinding wheel. This is how I go about it. Because if I use my bench grinder, I have almost no control on it. And it takes off way too much. Uneven. And it's loud. Wow, look at that. I think I'll just leave it right there. Tune to F. <laughs> 